I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Sierra Gates responds to followers who doubt she'll go through with her marriage to Xavier. Hey, baby, this chicken ready. That look good. Let me leave him alone. He said I'm always trying to mess with him while he's cooking. So, yes, y'all got 25 minutes to get your cookbook so y'all can get y'all ingredients. Y'all got two hours to shop. Tracy said, my nephew definitely can cook. Yes, your nephew can, girl. Your nephew can cook, baby. He can cook. Your nephew can do a lot of things, Tracy. You got you a blessed nephew, baby. You got a real blessed nephew. All right, y'all get y'all um, ghetto -ish cookbooks. All the cookbooks right now are $25. Y'all take full opportunity of that good old price job. Get your ghetto -ish cookbook. So, again, we're making turkey wings. We're making fried turkey wings. We making, what I said, cream corn, fried turkey wings, and um, collard greens. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Happy Sunday. Baby, that man, that, that's a good man, Savannah. That's a good man. That's a good man. That's a good man, Savannah, baby. It's coming, Tracy, it's coming. The actual wedding wedding is on the beach. We only got 50. Um, we only got 50 people that's coming. We only inviting 50 people. Only 50. So yeah, no potatoes. We got some rice. Cooking up over here. Uh-uh. I mean it, baby. I know I might have said it, but this time I mean it, baby. I said it, but I ain't mean it, but I mean it. I mean it with every part of my body, baby. I mean it. But you said it about... Okay, sis. We ju I just I said it. I mean it. I mean this time. You got that one cousin, don't you? You got that one cousin. But it be that... It take that one man that just be like... Get over here. Get over here. Get. <laughs> Couple girls say, and she do. It's this time, and I mean it. I mean it with every part of me. With every part. See, I really mean it because I ran from Zay for years. Since we was kids, I ran from him, and I ran from him, and I finally gave in. And, baby, I should have been walked through that door. I should have been walked through that door. Okay. Is it? It's too, you know I can't eat hot food. I didn't. Huh. Mmm. It's juicy. It's so juicy. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fat mom. Mm, mm, mm. What? They call me Fat Mom. That's my that's my nickname around the house. The most thing that I love about my relationship. Look how juicy that chicken is. Look how juicy that chicken is. It's juicy. How you make it? You made it juicy like me, baby. You made it juicy like me. The best thing that I love about my relationship, for real, I'm going to give y'all a little, a little insight, is that my kids, when them kids ain't happy with that man, you be stressed out. The most thing that I'm so, um, give me the brand. Okay, okay, Lindsay. Hold on, wait, Lindsay. You getting your seasons now. Where my other phone at? When them kids, can y'all agree with me? Yeah, they can cook, cook. Good meal. <laughs> you can cook, cook. But when them men, do y'all agree with me? When them, when them kids don't like that man, it's like when them kids don't like that man, it's 
hard and horrible. Like, especially this little boy right here. This one right here. Him and Zay had to be best friends. And my daughter, oh my God. I be trying to figure out who... Uh, she is really a real stepfather daughter because she love her stepdaddy, baby. Is that other phone in here, Case? You see that? You see another? Oh, here you go. Oh, no, that's your phone. You see your phone? Where my, uh, where my other phone is? I can call it. Thank you, please. And I just love my case too. He's so sweet. Wait, Let me put it in. He is like the best addition to the family. Y'all better get y'all cookbooks for twenty five dollars. Y'all only got twenty five minutes. Oh, both. I, oh, I got it. <clears throat> but yeah, when I'm kids. When them kids don't like that man, you might as well just don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Because when them kids don't like that man, you be sad. You be stressed out. You be second guessing and everything. I feel like that's when you solely know who your, your real helpmate is. And who your real husband is. Because God is not going to give you a helpmate or a husband that makes you struggle between the husband... And the and the and the and the kid, it's gonna be natural. Like, Case is naturally Mason and Perry's little brother. Like, they love him for real. Last night, Case was like, cause Mason be having his friends over, and sometimes you know Mason fourteen, and Case is younger than Mason, way younger than Mason. So, um, Case be like, you leaving me? You're not being a good big brother, Mason. You're leaving me. Like that stuff matters, and Paris love Case. Paris and Case do. Uh, Paris and Case and Case is they son. Paris and Case do date by themselves all the time. Like Paris, um, we was leaving my pop up shop and Case was like, Paris, I want you to break up with your boyfriend. He's not good. I don't like the way he treats you. That's a real little brother. That's a real little brother. And nothing was forced. When you know that is your person, nothing is going to be forced. And I'm just saying this, y'all, because I have went through a lot in relationships, as y'all know. I have went through a lot. And, and y'all know my ex. My kids could not stand him. And it, it did used to drive me up a while because you got to understand. You got pastors and people telling you, this your husband, this your husband. And... You know, like, well, why my and my, for me, I don't care. My kids is so dear to my heart. Their opinions matter. Everything about them matter to me. So, like, if my kids, they know how obsessed I am with my kids. Like, and I feel like that's with every mother. So, when you in a relationship and those kids and that husband don't work out, it really makes a huge difference. When I tell you my family blends, we just blend. We just blend. Like, literally, we blend. Case, I love Case. Case love me. Mason love Case. Case. Like, it's just regular. It's like, it's regular. You know what I'm saying? It's just regular. So, I just, people ask me about my relationship all the time on Instagram. And I look over that message a whole lot because I just be like, whatever. You know, at this point, I'm the girl who cried wolf because I never followed my dream. But what's so crazy, in all my relationships, I always got caught looking at his page messages from him from to bk to eric eric literally told me when we had like a heart to heart one time he was like then you you, you I, I remember me asking you did you like that and i was like i know so not saying that i was wrong right, right for doing that looking at zay um instagram while i was with my other boyfriends or whatever and like me and him messaging while I was with my other boyfriends, and that's wrong. That's not right. But I just feel like I finally got a chance to follow my heart and did what my heart wanted, and it's all good now. It's all good now. And I could just be genuinely honest about the situation. You know, like, it is what it is. I genuinely follow my heart. And me and Zay relationship, we locked in. We're, like, so close. And for one, because we're, like, we best friends for real. But it's still stuff that we have to deal with. We still stuff that we, you know, every relationship have its thing. 
but you can tell the difference when you're going through something with your best friend and your soulmate other than just going through some going through with somebody that you don't like for real like when you're going through it with somebody that don't like your kids that you really don't like for real no i don't just be cheating i actually follow my heart you gotta think i got engagement rings but i really got i really didn't marry me and eric did out for just you know a pastor telling us it was like by force. I'm not going to lie. He'll testify. It was like by force and whatever. Long be gone. That's over with. That's a chapter in my life that I'm done with. But I can say that I am so grateful for my family. I, this is what I always wanted. And when me and Zay got together, first of all, we've been liking each other off and on since we were kids. So it's always just been a thing. So... When he started trying to talk to me after I got a um, broke up with Eric, it was just like, all right, Zay, whatever, 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 whatever. So I was single for eight months. I literally was single. That's not a long time. I know, I know. It's not a long time, but it was eight months. I was single for eight months. I'm just telling y'all my truth. And then I just was like, if it, and gave in. And I feel like me and Zay, I have not been apart since. Since we, have we been apart since we... We, were, we haven't been apart. It was like we instantly just like moved in. It's like we instantly did everything. Not really moved in because they still got his own condo to this day. But, ooh, the chicken looks so good. Ooh. No. This, I miss my man cooking. I got to stay out there kitchen and let him get in there. I need to let him get in there. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.